All right, guys, now that we got this done, what we need to do is I'm gonna turn my soldering iron on here. Let me get over there and turn it on. Okay, because we're gonna get ready to set this board up. So we're gonna take our flux pin. All right, and we're gonna get the board ready. Get all these out of the way, keep our capacitor and our XT30 out of the way. Let's just go ahead and get this board ready. Okay. All right, and once that's done, a couple things. If you want to take your booklet out for your VTX, you don't have to, okay? But um, these are the wires that we're going to be using on the VTX. And some of those wires are actually going to go right here in this very, very, very small solder pad right here. So you can prep that now if you want, since we're going to be doing all of these. Your XT60 will go here, or your XT30 will go here. And you can pick on your, um, on your build here where you want your... Uh, uh, capacitor to go okay thing about the capacitor please remember is that even though you do have it already set for black and red to tell you which is positive or negative always look and verify the black is done correctly there have been some mistakes in the past make sure you see this gray or whatever stripe it's usually going to be a gray stripe here this thick wide gray stripe that designates the which one is ground as well okay so to do this we're most likely going to pull this board back off because I want to show you we're going to run the wires through so you can go ahead let's go ahead and do our Let's go ahead and knock this out right now if you want. Uh, now, I'm going to do it this way because it'll hold better, uh, and we've got plenty of space given the uh, standoff size. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and just, you know, unscrew these uh, nylon standoffs that we used here. Okay, and we'll just set those aside. Okay. All right, we're gonna take the board off. You set this aside. So you can tin this board right now. And then what we can do is come back and do this part. But what I want you to see is that we're gonna run these wires underneath, coming from underneath and come through the larger pads here. And then we'll put our XT30 on that. But let's go ahead, because we've got to tin the rest of the board up anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna grab my solder here and I'm just gonna get started on tinning. So I'm going to tin all the motor pads. Okay, now on the pads that we have on this main board here, we have our five volt, our camera, our ground. We have our uh, S bus over here with our five volt and ground on this side. And then we have our RX6, I think it's RX, and then we have our TX3 and RX3. So, and as a matter of fact, let me see if I can, if I can get this on the computer, I'll show you what I'm talking about here so that you can see what we're gonna be soldering next. That way I can show you a little bit better picture of it. Uh, let's see, okay, the computer's up, so let me get that up, and then let me get this microscope on. And use this to kind of guide, you know, this. we have the same board, so this is what we're gonna do, right? So let me put this microscope on. Let me close this real quickly, and let me change the screen. Whoops, one second. Okay, so we're looking at the front of the board here, like I said, so if you look at the front of the board starting on the far left, it's RX6, now remember, here's your plug on the bottom, so if you need, and then there's your USB, okay? So if you need some sort of uh, starting point. Um, all right, so we have uh, RX6, TXS, RS3, TX3, five volt cam, ground, three volt DSM, PPM, S bus, and five volt and ground. So what we're gonna be using is going to be, uh, let me see, ground, five volt, S bus, okay? Then we're gonna be using, uh, cam five volt and ground and then we're going to be using tx3 for our smart audio okay now i'm going to get all of these tinned up so let me do that if i can uh, let me do that real quickly let me move this off the table here all right and we'll get back to the bench there we go i'm just going to tin all these uh just because uh, it's a habit but um just remember and i'll make sure as we do these to tell you which one okay all right so there we go they're all tinned everything's done and now it's time to do the rest of the board. So for this one, 
let's just go ahead and get ready. So we're gonna take our capacitor here, and as you can see, this is the arrow pointing forward on my board. Here's my USB. Ground is on this side on the left, and positive is on the right. So get your uh, capacitor set that way. And then what I want you to do is I just want you to feed those wires through, okay? until they get to the end there, and then I want you to bend the, uh, bend the uh, wire over from the capacitor. So basically it's bent over like this, so now the cap can't come out, okay? Let me zoom in if I can show you that. All right, it's just, just bend the wire, put it through the hole, and then bend it right there just like that, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to get your, make sure, I'm pretty sure I already tinned that area, but I'm just gonna do it again anyway. Make sure it's tinned. You want this solder to hold real well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this first one here and I'm gonna tin this up and get this on the pad really good. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna tin this up and get my solder on the pad over here too. Remember that's where my XT60 or XT30 wire is going as well. Let's get that on there good because our XT30 has to bind to that. All right, so now you can see we're good, but we have excess, obviously these, need, this, these wires are hanging off. So just cut them. Do not cut the wire, I've done it, don't do it. And look at that, now you've got a pretty clean uh, XT, I mean a pretty clean capacitor that's under there. Now you can come in and solder down here if you want as well, that's fine. I'm gonna do that just to cover up because we have a little bit of wire showing here, so I'm gonna do that as well. But I'm not gonna put very much, okay? Because this is the underside and there's not much to go here, so I'm just gonna put just a dab here. You don't have to if you don't want to, it's not necessary. But because I've got some of this wire exposed, I'm going to go ahead just to make sure I've got a good grip on it. And this one, I don't have really any wire exposed. So I'm not even sure if this is going to stick, to be honest with you. But I'm not going to make it a big issue. Uh, I'm going to leave it, actually, because that looks just fine. All right, I have no wire showing on this side anyway. So let me go ahead and just clean that up. And I didn't have to put the one on the, on the positive either. All right, the only other things left are to tin the uh, three pads here, which are for your VTX. Okay, so you, your VTX is in the middle. And then you've got your positive which is your, this is your battery positive. All right, so if you need something with lipo power, uh, lipo voltage, then this would be it. Let me see if I can get this to hold. Getting this in there is not the easiest at times, but it's because I've got my capacitor in the way, so let me see. Come on, there we go. And I've got my ground, which is gonna take pretty quickly. All right, so there we go, so we're set with that. Then the only other thing left to do right now is going to be to get our XT30 done. So um, the way this quad is, you put it on this board, the battery's going underneath. You don't have to have this full. This is a really long cable. So I'm just going to cut this cable down a little bit. Probably, let me see if I measure this. This is going to be cut down to about, let's see, the cable from the end of the XT30 is about 70 millimeters. I'm going to cut it down to about 40. So if you measure this out, go to about 40, that'll be a pretty good length here. So let's just cut that. And we're gonna strip those wires out. I'll leave this zoomed in just enough so you guys can see it. Okay, there's one, there's two. Get your flux, put it on these wires as well. The solder holds so much better when you do. Okay, let's get that twisted up. Now I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna get the helping hands. I'm just gonna lay these on something like this here. Okay, spread them apart and we should be able to tin these pretty quickly. Okay, that's that. Now, uh, I'll leave this on the frame, I guess it might be easier. Just do it that way. Okay, now I'm gonna take my tweezers and get this ready. I'm gonna place it over the, uh, the, over the solder that I did for the cap and just kind of hold my soldering iron there. It's gonna melt in perfectly and that's it. Don't press, it'll, I promise you it'll just melt right in perfectly. All right, because you've already put your solder underneath so it's just gonna blend together. Look, perfect. Blends in perfect, everything is done and that's it. We're done with that portion. So now, let me zoom back out. There you go. And I will uh, we'll come back to the next set, which is gonna be to set up the rest of the board. And I think for this one, what I may do is, I may go ahead and have you guys get your VTX cable out. 
so because the wires are going to need to be done anyway so we might as well go ahead and get the vtx cable out and then we'll be back for the next round okay